Hello, and welcome to Bulldog Bites, your Ferris State esports podcast. I'm your host, Virgil, otherwise known as Liam or that guy in an Oppo onesie on game day. If this is your first time listening in or just need a refresher on how we like to do things around here, I'll break it down. First, we introduce and get a chance to talk to our special guest of the week. Then we'll have a couple sections out of our grab bag of options. The guest changes each week, and this week we are joined by Trey or Elite Mist. How you doing, Trey? <laughs> doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Well, so welcome back to campus. Uh, yeah. It's uh. So for those of you who are obviously unfamiliar with Mist, he is our first Fair State esports alumni to be on the podcast. Uh, not only that, but he now works in cybersecurity as an SOC analyst. You said. Yeah, or a SOC analyst. Okay. And uh, while at Ferris, he was on the Rainbow Six team and participated in as many Smash events as he could. Um, so let's start off with uh, with an easy one right off the bat. You're, you're an S, uh, SOC analyst. What does that mean exactly? Yeah, so actually SOC analyst, it's basically the front line of defense in terms of cybersecurity. Um, it actually stands for Security Operations Center Analyst. Um, so, I mean, it's just a fancy term for basically the, where all the security stuff happens in a company. Uh, so you're basically tasked with weeding out like what needs to be addressed what doesn't need to be addressed um figuring out like what's important basically and then either passing that on to another team dealing with it yourself or just passing it or uh, ignoring it because it doesn't matter (laughs) right sometimes seeing things may seem like a threat and all of a sudden they aren't yes Um, yeah very much so what what you were when you were at ferris what did you get your degree in then that was so yeah uh correlated to that actually is i got my degree in information security um, which I guess probably makes sense with my current job. Um, but yeah, I got that in, wow, I get mixed up with years now. Was it 2021, 2022? I think it was 2021. <laughs> in the last couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, so I know sometimes different career fields have funny stories that you wouldn't expect. Is there anything fun that comes from being a SOC analyst? Um, yeah, so with a SOC analyst, it's kind of like, it's kind of all over the place. You either, you have days where it's like, there's like nothing going on, everything's fine. And then you have days where like your entire world is flipped upside down. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess the biggest thing that, that I can, I kind of is funny to think about um, is one day there's this one night I was working and there was like a, a small incident that came in uh, that we need to look into. Our manager kind of chipped in. He's like, hey, just make sure this gets looked at. It looks, looks like it could be bad. Give it a look-see. Yeah, um, and then what do you know, uh, an hour later, every single person working above me in the chain is on a meeting <laughs> and we're in the meeting for from 7 p.m to 8 a.m um, oh my god so it was an entire night of talking with basically the entire security department and multiple other departments and so just just on this what looked like it was just like a blip on the radar just turned out to be flip your night upside down yes yeah it was <laughs> it was a i can't say a lot about it but right. it was It was bad. (laughs) (laughs) It it, it was glad we looked into it. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Um, Well, so was there anything or like maybe anybody at Ferris that kind of like geared you down the path of of that career? Because I'll be honest, I've I've never heard of a – I knew cybersecurity was a thing, but I'd never heard of a SOC analyst prior to this. Yeah. Um, So SOC analyst, it's kind of – I guess the best way to put it is it's it's kind of like the entry-level position for any um, security-related – like cybersecurity related job or career, I should say. Um, It kind of covers all their bases. You do pretty much the basics of everything. Um, Even sometimes you do like pen testing and whatnot. Um, But yeah, it's it's just basically, it's it's a really basic introduction um, to the entire career. Kind of helps you get started. So it it wasn't really like pushed on by anyone or anything. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like a natural progress. It's kind of usually you start in that position. Work your way up the food chain. Yeah, pretty much. Well, so you're obviously a respected part of Ferris Esports. Basically, anybody I talked to in the program uh, that knew who you were, because it's obviously the first phase of esports students are kind of starting to graduate out, and we're getting into a new yeah. set of students. But anybody I talked to had very high things to speak about you. They very um, mm-hmm. speak very kindly of you. That's Was there any time, anything at Ferris, like while you were in at Ferris and like in esports, is there any crazy memories or fun stuff that stands out? Yeah, I mean, I guess the one thing i really loved um i would say is for uh, smash club since it wasn't really a team or anything when i was in college um we had a semester tournament tournament uh they named it crimson clash yeah um, 
And yeah, you've probably heard of it. I um, helped. Yeah, I helped uh, run it last semester. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I'm, then. I'm familiar with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that. I mean, the first time we had that, that was like kind of one of the most insane experiences. You got everyone from all across Michigan coming over uh, to compete in Smash. Even some people outside of Michigan. Right. Um, you've like, got some of the best Smash players in the state coming to just. Yeah. Play for like essentially. I mean, not for fun, but for also for fun. <laughs> for fun. Yeah. I I personally have fun. Some people don't, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's um yeah it's such a fun experience though even like even people that are super competitive it's still fun like you you get to play with some of the best players around learn a lot of things talk about random things so um, right just be nerds basically <laughs> that's great that is one of my favorite things about esports is that sometimes the community it's totally unrelated to esport people just nerd out over like <laughs> certain topics it's like i was talking with somebody recently and they said something uh yeah they, they said they were, I, was, I said something about i like how the gaming community is just you know everybody's familiar with animes and the guy goes no that's a prerequisite and i was like that's <laughs> i like i like that <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty great um so you like you like I said, you played Siege and Smash while you were here. So yeah. do you have a favorite Smash fighter? I know most people have have a pocket pick. What's your go to? Yeah. So um, I personally really like the idea of being able to like set up something. So I, I kind of like something that has a character that has something that's not themselves that they can use as well. Huh. Um, and so for a while, I did Rob. Um, I liked Rob. Of course, you've got the the top and yeah, you, you could you could set up stuff with the top. He's pretty fun. He was he's high tier. Like he he plays right. well. Um, and then I found this player named Raito from Japan. He's just like this awesome guy that was destroying people with this thing called Duck Hunt. And oh, I was I like, love Duck Hunt. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just was like, wait a second, this is, this is kind of cool. I think, I think this is cooler than Rob. Well, and, and Duck Hunt <laughs> doesn't get a lot of representation in the Smash community. I know yeah. among a lot of different characters, you know, there's, there's somebody that's pretty well known for every, pretty much everybody on the roster. Yeah. Duck Hunt is definitely one of the lesser. And personally, I'm an ice climbers player, so there's few, oh, yeah. few and far between of us remaining <laughs> since the nerf between uh, Super Smash Four and uh, the Brawl. Oh yeah, but quite heavy. Well, so then also in Siege, uh, I don't know if you know, our Siege team this semester has been phenomenal. They're currently right. in playoffs with one loss, and it was only by forfeit. Um, really? Um, so they're, de- wow. they're definitely having a good season. But uh, That's insane. do you have a favorite operator? Operator. So for Siege, I would say, yeah, on defense, I absolutely love Frost or Legion. I like again. It's like I don't know why, but I like characters that have something other than themselves they can set up somewhere. Right, a little That's bit, fun. a little bit of <laughs> traps, a little bit of baiting going. Yeah, on. I, I love it, and I I just love putting my Frost mat in the most random spot, and people just get so <laughs> upset, <laughs> upset because they're like, why would it be there? Why, why is there why is there a Frost mat around the corner? Yeah. who sets that there? Me, <laughs> I set that there. <laughs> They're like they're like jumping over stuff. They're like looking down, like oh yeah, the the mask's gonna be right here. It would make sense, right? This is the choke point, um, but it's not there. Wait, why is it not there? Then they walk around the corner, and it's like oh, why am I why am I down? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, <laughs> we talked about it a little beforehand. Um, yeah. and I, I know you said you don't really partake in as many competitive games anymore. Um, yeah. But do you have like a favorite org or anything? Because I know you said you still watch some. Oh yeah, yeah, I still watch plenty. Um, and I recently was messing around with Valorant more, so I've been watching some of that. Um, but yeah, my favorite teams, I'd, there's a few that I really like a lot. There's one called Zeta Division. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty and then fan. you also have, um, I always pronounce it wrong, Yanni Ido Spaghetti. Um, oh, <laughs> it sounds weird. You're going to have to be able to break it down. I've never heard of This is the esports <laughs> team I've never heard of. Yeah, they're also a Valorant team. Uh, another one from Japan. Okay. Um, but one of my favorite guys that I watch, actually two of them, uh, they're on that team, um, and they're YouTubers as well, so that's kind of right. how I found them. Um, and then you also have, um, i trying to remember the name. Oh, yes, this one you'll all, uh, definitely know, Paper Rex um, ah, and EDG. Of course, <laughs> Paper Rex. EDG is a favorite of mine, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, Con Con? The, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's just crazy. I love him. <laughs> I, I was a fan of their league team first, actually. Oh, okay. Um, and so when I saw they were playing, they were kind of jumping into Valor, and I was like, oh, this is going to be really interesting. Yeah. Con Con showed up, and I was like, oh, my oh. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over his little thing where he stood up and like did that little sniper rifle <laughs> move. <laughs> what he it's we so we our own Valorant team cracks jokes about it. He plays essentially like he's playing on an iPad almost. He plays top down pretty much to his monitor. Oh yes, he that's looks right. he looks like straight down at it. <laughs> yeah. And so we have a player on our Valorant team who's like six four, and he yeah. he does it once in a while as a joke. Oh, but man. he he did it I think for half the season and scrims just because he could, <laughs> and he was still fragging. He oh, was still dude. like dropping. It. So we were all like. I guess uh, Kong Kong knows the way. You yeah. know, can't hate on that. Um, <laughs> we should just start playing on iPads. I, I, what are we, who are we kidding? Yeah. Right? Um, 
That's awesome. Well, so from what I can tell, you're also pretty big into anime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I'd say that. Do you have any personal recommendations? I'm trying to find. This is more for me because I'm trying to find. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find a new anime. I um, just finished my last one. <laughs> well, I don't know if these will be. These won't be new to you. I do have two that I really like a lot. Um, I'm okay. Quite, these are quite simple, though. <laughs> The more I think about it, um, but yeah, Hunter Hunter and yep. My Hero Academy. <laughs> oh, okay, I um, haven't finished. I haven't watched My Hero. Um, okay. I've had I've heard a, a lot of people recommend it, but I just kept pushing it off. I just oh, uh, okay a couple animes ago. I just finished Hunter Hunter. That was a, okay. That's definitely a favorite. That's of mine. The insane one. Yeah, uh, it, it's very popular as well. Definitely one of the yeah. larger ones nowadays. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I actually I would say as well if you ever just want to relax, um, one of my favorites is Non Non Biori. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No, but I'll add that to my list. Okay. <laughs> but it's like the most wholesome thing about just like nature and friends and it's it's amazing. Sounds like a good way to relax on a Friday evening after a stressful week of esports. Very much. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um there you go. So our obviously our facilities at Ferris have probably upgraded a little bit since yeah. you were uh here as a student. Oh, definitely. Um, as that tends to happen with technology and <laughs> and more. Um you expressed some interest in you know, VR, AR, you know, the virtual reality yeah. aspect of it, and especially how that can tie into esports, I think is really unique. Um, there's yeah. definitely a market for VR. I, you go anywhere to a Dave and Buster's nowadays, there's a VR setup in the corner that you can oh, yeah. essentially Super use. Super sweaty. R yes, <laughs> grimy, probably a good way to get COVID. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see, I think, how that relays into the esports world, especially as, you know, there's definitely games that grow into uh, a more competitive nature on their own. Yeah. Um, do you have any thoughts into how how that might tie in in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a really tough thing. Um, I guess one of the, the things I've thought about a lot though is just like, as much as I can see it happening, I can't see it happening because it it also requires a much larger setup. You have to have a big like square or something set for players. Um, right. You also have more liability in a sense too. I mean, you're moving around. You could snug the cable, fall down. You could cause a lot of things. Hurt injuries. yourself, hurt yeah. somebody else. Yeah, of course. Um, but at the same time, it also means that you're getting exercise. So I think a lot of schools would like to hear that. Right. I, th I think <laughs> especially with uh, the the current argument kind of being that schools don't want to promote maybe like a a leisurely lifestyle entirely. They they still want to yes. encourage people to get outside, and make sure they're getting exercise. Of course. Um, yeah. That can definitely tie in. Um, as well as I, I did a little bit of research into it with what i could yeah <clears throat> there is there does seem to be esports leagues for uh a lot of the more competitive sided games mm -hmm. on, on vr games like pavlov i know are really popular oh, yeah. uh, in that community it's because it essentially feels like csgo but in vr um yeah. and cs is obviously a massively popular <laughs> game <laughs> slightly popular <laughs> it's, it's got a couple players it's got, it's got like, a few like at least they four. just made a two so it's right uh, yeah, yeah they, they made a sequel we'll starting. see how it does yeah <laughs> um <laughs> <clears throat> but I, I think it's really interesting to see that um, there's it, there's leagues for it, and it's not just like no. professional, you know, quote unquote professional leagues. Maybe some of them are more amateur based, but mm -hmm. some of them are are collegiate. Even there was um, a league that has has uh, opportunities for people to play. Um, I think it was it was Pavlov, and then okay. <clears throat> it was Beat Saber and Breachers. So they actually have esports for Breachers and Beat Saber. I uh, specifically in collegiate, supposedly. That's interesting. Wow. Um, I, I will. I, I agree. I think it's a very expensive investment to yeah. make, um, especially from a school's perspective. They're all about you know new technology and educating their students with every piece of the field that they can. Yeah. Um, but I, I agree. It's it's a really interesting thing for them to have to invest in, considering a Smash setup for a, if you want to have a Smash team is essentially. Do you have a monitor and a switch? And, yeah. And boom, now you've got a setup. And a VR is, do you have a PC that can run the games yeah. and a VR headset and the space to work with and the wires and the oh recording software and everything else that's set up in there? Yeah. So it definitely can, it can be more of a, pr it's a privileged opportunity, I think, to be able to have that kind of. It is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I would agree with that. But I, I think another thing, <clears throat> it is cold outside, which is thus causing me to, have a very tar <laughs> difficult time breathing. It, it's, it's that time of the year. It's um, the fun time. <laughs> it is uh, Pav so Pavlov is obviously one of the most popular games on VR. I think overall it it has like top ten of sales on VR. It's just big yeah. popular. Most people who use VR are familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, and for those of you unfamiliar, like I said, 
essentially just CS in virtual reality. A little mm -hmm. bit more um, attachments and things you can do in terms of um, the gunplay in the game. But mm -hmm. it's also created an Unreal Engine, which, if you're familiar with Unreal Engine, is a huge developer's program that they use to make a lot of games nowadays. Um, games like Fortnite, Rocket League, Ark, um, yeah. Tekken 8, Final Fantasy 7 are all built out of Unreal Engine, which is <laughs> kind of crazy to think <laughs> how different all these games are, and yeah. they're drafted out of the same engine, essentially, which is um, really wild to think about. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, um, not unfortunately, this is very fortunate, actually, I think it's going to be fun. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> All those games do sound like fun, but I think most people are familiar with a game that's as old as car rides themselves. Um, oh. 20 questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, where basically we'll, we'll, we'll set a category beforehand so it's fair and it's not impossible because I think if we just go with anything, oh, um, it yeah. would just be impossible. <laughs> uh, we'll have to make it 100 questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for those of you unfamiliar with 20 questions, the game is as follows. One of us will pick a character, item, or something from within that category um and then the other person has 20 questions to try and guess what the item is right. uh do you want to go first sure yeah i guess do you have any, do you have any i don't what, what do we go for for categories we'll go for maybe something from siege we'll start with something we could do siege yeah let's All do right. that <laughs> um do you have an uh, let me know when you have an item and we'll i got something in mind oh dear that's <laughs> a there's a menacing smile on his face when he says that <laughs> um he's not ready <laughs> Is it an operator? No. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it a tangible object? Like, if I was in the game, would I be able to touch it? Um, yes. Okay. I don't know why I asked that. That doesn't really narrow it down. <laughs> point, um, is it... Is it something in your loadout? Like a, we like a weapon or a, a something that you would equip? Hmm... Yes. Oh. Is it a cosmetic? No. Um, okay. Is it a primary weapon? No. Is it an attachment on one of my weapons? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Is it? <laughs> is it on my primary weapon? Yeah. Could, could it be on my primary weapon? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it a sight? No. Is it a grip? No. So it's not a cosm... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my lack of siege knowledge is going to be in. Uh, You're at nine questions currently. <sighs> got 11 left. So it can be on my primary weapon. Could it be on something other than my primary weapon? No. Okay. And it's not... A is it a laser? Is it a laser? No. Or wait. No. I'll say no. <laughs> but it goes in the place of where a laser does, maybe. Ooh. Hmm. I'm thinking to myself now. <laughs> this is baiting out questions. <laughs> answers. See, see what answers I can get. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty weak to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to. I don't know. I don't think I know the name of the other attach. It's another attachment that goes in the place of a laser sight. I've seen it. Um, <laughs> I think. I think. I think that's what I'm looking for. I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, nine left. Uh, <laughs> is it? So it's not a sight, and it wasn't a grip. Correct. It's not technically a laser sight. But you stumbled over it, so I'm <laughs> guessing it might be nearby. It's not cosmetic, so it's not a skin. Uh, it's a very somebody question. somebody listening to this is gonna be like punching the air. They're just like, <laughs> they're like just, just say it, <laughs> just say it. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm sitting here like I have no idea. Because um, I know when we were talking about this, yeah. I think initially I I mentioned that you know it could be something other than operators. And yeah. I said, like it could be an EMP grenade, and you were like an EMP grenade. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh no, <laughs> he's gonna find something that. super <laughs> obscure. Oh yeah. Um. Well, if you, uh, I mean, I, you I, on the I team, think this is simply lack of siege knowledge. I will say it is the character I mainly played on the team. 
It's related to oh, them. Well, uh, oh, so it's... <laughs> oh, is it, is it an ability? It's related. I guess I'll count that as a question. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is it a frost trap? No. Is it a lesion trap? No. <laughs> I, was really, I was hopeful. I was like... <laughs> uh, Those are good questions. It's er, related good. to their ability. Yeah. Attachment on a primary weapon. No, it's not an attachment. Well, it technically is. <laughs> it's confusing. I'm very, I'm very all over the place. <laughs> Again, I'm telling you, somebody from Siege is going to listen to this, and they're going to be like, dude, it was right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, to be like, I don't I didn't know. <laughs> um, one of your mains. I th- you said Frost and Legion. I actually didn't mention this one yet. Oh, no. Because I only mentioned Defense. <laughs> Okay, I play oh, Frost I just, and Legion, okay. and I also play. Oh, defense! <laughs> I just, Echo. I just revealed. I feel, like, I feel like you play Echo. Um, I did for a little bit, but that's not not related. Uh, defense. I think that was a question. Yes. <laughs> uh, you have five left. It's a defense that I'm not familiar with. What's similar to Frost and Legion? Oh no, I didn't. I should, I should specify before you get too confused. Uh, I, s- I only mentioned the characters I play on defense. I didn't mention the characters oh, I play on offense. Oh, yeah, it's an, it's an attacker, and yeah. you like unique features. Yeah. <laughs> you seem like a shield operator player. Right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> who has unique features on attack? Because initially I was like, Ella. Ella has a trap that'll be fun to use. Oh, yeah. That's a good guess. But it's an attacker. Um, <laughs> it's related to the... It would be someone you could play in competitive. Like they're pretty good for competitive. So, at least when uh, I played, <laughs> uh, may have changed. Ash is is it, no. is it related to Ash? That's the question I'll no. go with. <laughs> Three um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Need a hint. <laughs> I'm determined. <laughs> I've got three questions left. I, 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 so I can close. do this. You're um, so close. <laughs> who has a primary? We- so, it, I, so I'm. I'm think. My theory now is that it's a, yeah. it's on a primary weapon, but the primary weapon is really unique because of their kit. Which initially I was like shield, but that's yeah, that's a fair guess. <sighs> who has? I know because there is somebody with a, a kind of a unique kit on attack. I think. Right now, I can think of two that would still be qualifying for. Is it glass? Is it related glass. to glass? No. <sighs> That's my main. That's my go-to. Oh, okay. I like one-trick glass on attack. It, it, it annoys everyone on the Switch <laughs> team because they'll go to swing something, and I'm just like, no, no, <laughs> <laughs> I can see you cannot. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. <laughs> two left. All right. Well, we'll lock it down then. Is it conf- is it related to an attack operator? Yes. I was really hoping you were going to say no. <laughs> it's just been leading me astray the whole I time. Didn't, I, didn't, I would not have done that. Uh, <laughs> Here, actually, I'll take. The, I'll keep. I'll give you with two questions still because that was kind of a repeat. So, um, is it? <laughs> Callie's breach missile. That was the other one that I was thinking of, but that's not it. No! <laughs> I was like, that's related? Wait a minute. I can do <laughs> Oh, wait. There is somebody else with an attachment on their gun, though. So you, you got this. You got this. <laughs> Good and competitive. Yes. Can't be Buck. Um, oh, who has... Do you need like an operator list in front of you? No, because I know that I know the operator. The one that's one thing I do know is the operators. But I'm like, okay. trying to, I'm trying to like mentally. I'm like, who has something? All right, final guess: Capital bow and arrow. No, no. <laughs> oh, you're so close. Okay, I can see. Oh, was I actually Capitao. close? You, were, I mean, you were getting there because like with Cali tiptoeing and around. Cali is probably the closest one to what I'm thinking of. Um, it's the same kind of idea. You have an underbarrel attachment kind of thing that shoots out. Was it buck? Not buck. Oh, okay. It's Who, something. It? It's something that sticks. Something that is useful for. I don't know my bridge agents watch. well enough. Um, for, <laughs> um, I'm bronze. That should tell you my knowledge <laughs> of the game. So um, <laughs> it has. Who else a, has a breach attachment? And remember not. how I stumbled on laser? Is a laser related to it? Oh, so is it claymore? No, it's it's still attached to the weapon. <laughs> Capcan, Capcan's on defense. 
Yeah, and that's not attached to the weapon as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, laser. It has a laser when you're deploying it. Helps you kind of figure out where it's going. So it's a drone? No. Oh. Still on the, it's still attached to the main weapon. I honestly, I give up. I have no <laughs> idea at this point. I, you've totally lost me. It is the air jab with no magic. Oh, no. <laughs> I was sitting there. I was like, I, th- I think one of the characters has like a, a special like pistol that they carry. And then I was like, who? Nomad. Uh, that's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. That oh. little, that little tiny ball that just <clears throat> fought, knacks you back whenever you get close to it. And man, is it annoying. Oh, by word, yes. <laughs> Getting hit by that out of nowhere is <laughs> a really good way to make me want to throw my, <laughs> throw my mouse across the room. I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, I've been on a flank as glass and all yes. or on as as defense, and uh, I like to roam around as Echo, like a little grim. Oh yeah, so it's so fun. <laughs> so I'll stun somebody, and so when I stand up and get stunned in uh. there, and it's just like, no, that's what I do. Hey, <laughs> yeah. that's not nice. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right, well let's we'll do we'll do we'll do one more or one or two more of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sounds good. Do you have a category in mind this time? Category in mind for you? Yeah. Okay. I'll think of something. Just hit, hit um, me with a category. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I like to think I have an, a knowledge of most games, so if you have a different game you feel comfortable with, we can do uh, that. Uh, do you happen to know Death Stranding? No. No? Okay. Uh, I, should, I should clarify. Most esports. Esports. Uh, okay, sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the other day somebody showed me a picture out of a really old Zelda game, and I couldn't oh. even identify it as Zelda, <laughs> and I was like, oopsies. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> what what game was it? I'm curious. Uh, it had a. It was we were playing like a game duel. It was like It was like a. It was like yeah. Wordle, but for a game, and it showed a picture of like. It was one of the okay. old ones. It was like a ninety. It had a ninety nine percent on Metacritic. Ninety nine percent. Yeah, I, I, I know, we is. saw that and we were like. Am I right? <laughs> I don't know which one has a 99. It, it, it was the, I think it's the, I want to say, I, if I say it wrong, I'm going to get flamed. Yeah. For, some, for mi- <laughs> there's some hardcore out I'm, leave, out I'm leaving it behind. I, I, <laughs> okay. I'll openly acknowledge, I, I was a Nintendo kid, but I never played Zelda growing up. That oh, was the wow. one game. I grew up playing really? everything, Nintendo, Mario Kart, Smash. And yeah. Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, okay, oh yeah. That's oh, yeah. Oh, we could do, po- Pokemon could be fun. That's a good one. I like right. that. Okay. Um, Although I, oh my word, I don't have, I don't have a Pokedex in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with some. It's it's okay. it's Gen One Two. This one is. Uh, I'll give you that yeah. right off the bat. Okay. And it's 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 that's that's what it's related to. Oh man. Uh, hey. Yeah. Okay. I got I got somebody. Got in mind. I'll go with, I'll go with something. Somebody. I okay. Somebody. Um. So I guess uh, I want to clarify first. Is this a Pokemon? Yes. Okay. Um. Oh man, is it electric? No. It's not electric. Is it legendary? No. In my mind, but no. <laughs> is it popular? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, gen 1 and 2. Unpopular. Is it in a forest? It can be. can be. can be in a forest. I think. E- yes. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes confidently. <laughs> I would expect one to be in a forest. Okay, okay. Um oh man. I'm racking my brain here. <laughs> Trying to think of all the Pokemon. Um Is it a Pokemon you can find in the overworld, just like walking around or sitting in a spot? Mm. Y- yes, but the one I'm specifically thinking of, no. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that is a really interesting thing then. Um, is I guess I should ask, is it Gen 1? Yes. Yes, okay. I guess the other... Oh yes, it's still questioning it. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's ooh, I don't know how to say. It. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna Google to double check myself. Okay, okay. Because I'm unreliable. Well, don't worry. I don't have a clearly divided Pokedex in my head, so I'll probably mix it up anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. It yes. Is. It, is it is Gen it One. Is Gen 1. Okay. Gen One. You can find it. Roaming, possibly, or at least it's in the you can overworld. you can find it ro- in in uh, some of the games you can find it roaming. Okay, I'm can certain you can find it roaming in games actually. Can you find it in the overworld in Gen One? 
guess that's a better question. Not that I know of. Okay. I think, uh, okay. How many questions so, am I at? I wasn't keeping I'd track. say eight. Eight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, does a gym leader use it? No. No. N no. I'd love it, but no. Oh, okay. Man, this must be a really special Pokemon then. I'm curious what it is. Oh. It is my favorite. So if it's anybody, your favorite. It's my, this is my favorite Pokemon. Okay. Oh, now I feel pressure. I got to figure this one out. <laughs> is, does a trainer at least use it? In Gen 1? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I should have clarified that. I, I don't think so. No. Okay. I'm pretty confident, no. Okay. Yeah, it probably isn't. I wouldn't remember it then as a trainer. I'll Pokemon. give you a hint, though. In newer games, I'm fairly certain that a version of this Pokemon is used, yes. Okay. Uh, but that's like Sword and Shield new. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> I've probably seen it then, and I just yes. am not thinking about it. <laughs> if you've played Sword and Shield, you're definitely familiar with the Pokemon. Okay. Um, that is a really big hint. That, yeah, that I was, was going to say, that, that, was that has to be really big. Um, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is Badoo, but Badoo's not Gen 1, is it? No. I don't think so. No. Because yeah, Badoo's has such that. a prominent role in that game. Um, Somehow you finagled more information out of me with only eight questions, so <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. Police would love don't me. Don't give me they would, They'd bring me in to interrogate me, and they would just be like, he's just talking. I'm just like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would I would talk to the police. I would incriminate myself <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've done anything incriminating. You haven't. Just to be clear. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, because I was applying I was applying to be a police officer at one point. So oh really? Oh that's awesome. Long in the past, but yes. Okay. Nice. I thought about it myself once and then I realized I'm a stick. I could never deal with a single rowdy person. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's all right. All right, yes, back to the question, important question. things. Um, oh, man. So in Sword and Shield, is a, does a major role... Wow, Gen 1, major role in Sword and Shield. I should know this then. Why don't I know this? Um, do you... No, that's not a good question. <laughs> You've got 12 to work with. So. You've got 12, okay. Um, I guess we should narrow down the typing at least. So it could be found in a forest. Is it a bug type? No. Not a bug type. Interesting. Yeah, bug types. <laughs> it's like, that's like bottom three types in the game, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, I kind of agree. Yeah. yeah they're just all bad. <laughs> There's just not very many good ones. It's like, it's like do, you have a, do you have a size or? No. All right. Well, you probably don't have a good bug type. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually a losing battle if you got a bug yeah. type. <laughs> oh, he has fire or water or basically any type ever. Oh, great. I lose. <laughs> he has something that exists. Yeah. And you have a bug type? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is is it maybe is at least one of its typings normal? Yes, it is normal. Okay. We'll emphasis on one of its typings. Okay, so it is multi. It's got multiple types. Uh, that's ten questions, right? Yep, you're right. at ten. So okay, it's got ten more. It's a normal type, Gen One, prominent role in Sword and Shield. Man, why do I? That's no, this is Gen 4. I don't know why. There's no way. Absol is not in Gen 1. No, why am I thinking Absol? No, don't even. No, although that is one of my favorite Pokemon as Absol's well. Great. Absol is great. That was the first shiny I ever found in any game ever. Really? Oh, yeah. my word. <laughs> it was, I, loved, I love Absol. He's just cool. That's, that's awesome. My first shiny was actually I was surfing in Sutopolis City in Pokemon Sapphire, and I found a shiny Magikarp and almost killed it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> thankfully I saved it. I I didn't know <laughs> shinies were a thing when I found the shiny Absol. Oh, so really? I just saw it had a red horn, and I was like, "What? Oh wow, yeah." <laughs> Did I break the game? <laughs> Whatever, that's sweet. Yeah. And then my brother convinced me to trade it to him because I didn't know oh, it was shiny. No. Uh, oh. I got a level eighty Infernape at like gym three out of it, though. So <laughs> we'll take those. Okay, I mean. I don't know. I kind of want the Absol. <laughs> I would have preferred that. In hindsight, I'm mad. But it, yeah. in the time, I was like, level 80 Infernape, oh, we're cooking. <laughs> There's no gyms that stand a chance against me. And then it didn't listen to me. Then, yeah. Ever, and I was like, oh, okay, this is terrible. Then you realize Pokemon thought ahead. <laughs> yeah. They're making sure you can't do <laughs> they that. They know my type. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. I Wow. Normal types. I don't know why. Normal types are not coming to my mind for Gen 1. I'll thought. be honest. I think people forget it's a normal type. Really? Forget it's a normal type, even. 
Okay. Um, so it's two typings. It's normal and man. I guess a good question then. Has its typing changed at all since Gen 1? No. No, it hasn't. Okay. You're looking for a fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was looking for something because they they messed with some some Pokemon. No, he, he this this Pokemon specifically stayed tried and true. Stayed tried and true to its typing, and it's a normal dark type. Is no. that a question? That's a question. No, no. <laughs> normal. What? What else has normal? Normal ground wasn't a thing yet. I don't think. Oh man, there it is. No, it's. Is it normal poison? That's a question. No. No. I don't think that was even around yet. <laughs> poison types are fun though. Yeah. I wish they were more powerful than they are. Yeah. Sometimes they feel a little underwhelming. Yeah, they feel kind of far and few between as well. It's a viper, and then like the next thing you see is toxic rogue. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> What's with the reptiles hanging out at the end? <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense for yeah, poison, that but... Yeah, that actually <laughs> tracks. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to end up wasting all my question on typing, because <laughs> I don't know. Um, is it normal fighting? No. It's not normal fighting. Normal... Normal ice? No. I'm just like, I'm not... I'm, not, I'm screwing myself. Um, how many questions do I have left? Six. <laughs> Six questions left. What types am I missing? It's obviously not dragon. Um, it's not fairy because that didn't exist. I don't think. Was there steel type in Gen 1? I don't think so. Um, I don't think I can remember. I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gen 1 was pretty basic. I guess. I don't think I said normal fire? Nope. <laughs> normal water? No. <laughs> oh, fairy. There's no, oh, there's no way. There's no way. I can't, I can't guess this. I thing. think there's only like two or three types left. Yeah, I was gonna say. Statistically, you have not having luck with this uh, one. No, I the odds are not in my favor. Well, they should be, but they aren't. Um, <laughs> this is not a very big gamble to lose. I've just realized in my mind, as soon as you get to typing, there's gonna be like one other contender alongside it. Oh, really? And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna feel really bad if you guess that one <laughs> first. <laughs> okay, what am I? What am I forgetting? Okay, I had, I did. Ice, grass, water, fire. I think I did grass. Wait, did I do grass? Oh, no, I can't remember now. I didn't do grass, did I? No, okay, I'm going to ask that then. Is it grass? No, it's not grass. It's not grass. It's not grass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwing myself so badly. Oh, if only my brain was a Pokedex, I would be able to do this without. I think Gen 1 is the only one that I, like, could probably name by heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as opposed to the other ones I kind of, like, <laughs> that's fair scarlet and violet somebody showed me a pokemon the other day and i'd never seen it in my life oh, yeah, yeah what the heck is this thing there's so many new ones on my age it's insane um mm, i want to ask this question but it's not going to help me i need to just ask typings um i'll give you a freebie you're close enough i'll give you a freebie okay whatever the question is you're gonna ask oh because okay. i'm intrigued i was very curious i don't know why it came to my head but just has it ever been used or I shouldn't say has it ever been has it ever been used? Does it have a mega evolution in like X and Y? It does not. It does not. Okay. I don't know if its evolution does. Okay. How it does evolve. Okay. Not in Gen One. Not in Gen One. Oh, so that's even more hints. Okay. <laughs> oh um, no, we don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not helping though. Don't worry, because I my mind is like blank. Um, I just want the type so badly. I mean, I did dark. There was no, there was no normal ghost types, were there? No. No, because normal is ineffective against ghosts. Yeah, but there is a normal ghost type now. Is there? Yeah, I know there's at least one or two. I can't what remember the which Who designed that? I know, I know. It's <laughs> that like, doesn't even that doesn't even make sense. It's basically just like Casper the friendly ghost is a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Oh, uh, what am I forgetting? Dragon wasn't. Is it dragon? No, it's not dragon. I was going to say, there's no way it was a dragon. You already guessed dragon, so that's, I'm not counting that. Okay, either. okay. <laughs> um, we did fighting. No. 
so this is like this is like the situation you had with mine. It's like somebody I, in the I'm background like, right I'm like now. I'm like starting to run out of like op, like mentally. I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah. There, I think I think there's a, there's at least if if any Pokemon fans listening to this, like they're just going like somebody somebody so who dumb. knows my favorite is definitely sitting there like oh, that checks out. And the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yes. that seems weird <laughs> enough that he would like that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, it's man. very niche. I don't. I've niche. never met somebody else who said this was their favorite Pokemon really? ever. That's interesting then, huh? Okay. Um, Which is sad because, guys. That does think He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's adorable. Okay, so In my opinion. <laughs> I think he's cute. I don't think by traditional definition of cute, it's cute. Is it that little airbender icon you use for your Discord? Oh, Appa? I don't know what that thing no, is. No, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, Appa from, from Avatar. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm, like, well known for here. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I wear a onesie to our matches for Overwatch. Oh, that's right. I heard you mention that in the beginning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. That's kind of what I got known for last semester. It was fun. <laughs> I wear it on stream once in a while. Oh, man. That's beautiful. It's fluffy. It's fluffy. And I'm in a cold state. It's, it's, it's a win-win. Uh, yeah, it <laughs> checks out. <laughs> um, well, that's not a Pokemon, so it's definitely not Oppo. Uh, <laughs> well, I've disappointed all the people that think I'm a Pokemon fan. I guess Don't I'm worry, not people forget. Fan. People forget he exists. <laughs> um... I can't even think of the other type. I, I can't, I'm blanking. I think I think genuinely this might be the only type you haven't guessed yet. It has to be because I feel like I've covered them all. <laughs> I feel like what is off my words? I didn't even. <laughs> it's flying. Flying. <laughs> Thank you for the hint. I. It is. It is flying, but that's a question. <laughs> it's a flying normal type. Wait, I think I know what it is. Is that? I think that's Gen One. Is is it? Aerodactyl? No. No. Oh. That's, I'm pretty sure that's like rock flying or something weird. That's true. It's not, yeah. That's, yeah. Probably not that that is Gen 1, though. I'm pretty confident. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Normal <laughs> flying. Why can't Sword I, and shield. Is it? Wait, is it? It's not a wingle, is it? No, that's water. That's water. What am I thinking? Okay, I lose. What is it? <laughs> Farfetch, a farfetch. Okay, yes, that makes sense. A little guy. Yes. And then I'm livid. They added oh. Surfetch. I think <laughs> it gave him a lot of attention, and so now people are like, yes. "I like Farfetch." It's like you didn't. You did. You're not. You didn't, an you didn't like him <laughs> when he was just Farfetch. You liked him when he got a big sword. That's right. Oh my word! I completely remember that being revealed, and that was like a huge deal. And it's everybody like, lost it. They were like, "This is so amazing." I was just like, "It's okay." <sighs> I kind of forgot he was a gen He's one. got a little leak. Yeah. Well, so oh, the wow. reason I was confused at the beginning is because the first Farfetch'd I ever got was actually yeah. in Gen 2. It was in Gen 2. Okay. But it was a Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, okay. Which is why I was like, I don't know if you can find it in the overworld. Because you have to trade for it to get it oh, from somebody in Gen, in uh, gen 2. Oh, they're gen like, two. if you bring me a Rattata, I'll give you That's my Chiding. And yes. then you get Chiding, <laughs> and it's like a Farfetch'd. And you're like, this thing is useless. <laughs> but I played with it ever since I got my first one. Really? I, I, I love them. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> well, timing wise, I don't want to blow up people's ears too long. Um, but I do appreciate you coming back to yep. uh campus to record this with me. It's been yeah. a blast, actually. I've had a lot of fun. Not my word. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. It. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming in. Uh, yeah. like I said, guys, podcast every Thursday, we had some issues with the last one. I promise it'll go up as well. Um, we're getting it sorted every Thursday, podcast. Uh, if you're interested in being on, send me a DM in the meantime. Miss, thank you for joining me. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you all next week. (laughs) See you later.